Hello, everyone. Tim Williams here, meteorologist Tim Williams here in the WJZ studios here with your first alert forecast. Because of the snow moving our way, uh, two things have happened since our last update with you. First off, WJZ uh, has issued an alert day for tomorrow. We do have snow moving in after midnight or so through about late morning. So we do have an alert day issued for this winter weather advisory that is for the entire area here in central Maryland, really on either side of the 95 corridor. We're talking El over toward uh, Frederick County, straight on down the 95 stretch, including Frederick, Anne Arundel, uh, Howard counties as well, and down toward D.C. Lower Eastern Shore not impacted by this, far western Maryland not impacted by this. And the alert day is issued because late tonight into tomorrow morning, we're expecting uh, one to two inches of snow across the same stretch that the alert uh, day is for. And we're expecting, of course, the winter weather advisory through this entire area. Primarily slush on roadways because we have been so warm. Even as of today, we're going to temperatures near 60 degrees. So the roadways, the grassy surfaces are all relatively warm. However, it's going to be enough snow in the overnight period when the temperatures are at their coldest that we could see a bit of a slush on untreated roadways. Just trace amounts, mostly rain on the lower eastern shore, trace amounts of snow out from, say, Washington County out toward Hagerstown and points beyond. So again, this is through Sunday morning. The advisory is in effect from 1 a.m. on Sunday through 1 p.m. on Sunday. So that uh, window of time. So your headlines for today, well, we're looking at the partly sunny and mild conditions. The clouds are going to increase as well as the breeze, and that wind coming in from the northwest is going to reinforce the colder air. So rain and snow arrive very late. The snow, again, after midnight. Let's talk about the uh, timing of this. Again, with temperatures so mild, we're looking at that snow really having to overcome several factors before it can really even take hold. And the main factor is these warm temperatures. Now, the temperatures will drop, certainly. We have a bit of a flow from the south, still bringing in the warmer air. But that shift to the north and northwest is already happening. It's happening as the front that's bringing that colder air starts to sweep through the state, and it is pushing very slowly. That's why it's going to get breezy through the afternoon as well. Some of the energy from this system is going to transfer over to the coastline. We were watching a developing system uh, along the coast to see how close it got to us to bring snow into the mainland, but it doesn't look like like that's going to be a main factor. The problem is, though, that the timing is going to be the overnight when the temperatures drop. So we do, as of midnight, let's take it to midnight, see snow arriving from the west. Darker areas here showing that how the snow could be pretty heavy for a concentrated bit of time. We're looking at rain on the lower eastern shore. Let's take you right on to about sunrise. Sunrise around 7 o'clock. This is 6 a.m. Blanket of snow. Again, that same stretch where the winter weather advisory is in place. We get to about 9 o'clock. You start to see that the edge of this is starting to clear. Pushing from the west to the east, we're going to start to see some sunshine in the afternoon and we'll start to dry out. It stays breezy enough, it stays dry enough, it stays sunny enough that much of what comes down will be gone by the uh, late afternoon and into the evening. So by overnight, yes, there could be some slick spots Saturday night or actually, I'm sorry, Sunday night into Monday morning, but it looks like uh, a lot of the uh, wetness on the roads should dry by then, and then certainly by uh, Monday morning, uh, anything left will be uh, melting down. 60 degrees today is our high. We're very close to that now as of this update. We have again declared an alert day for Sunday. 36 degrees is the high. The snow clears out by around lunchtime. Again, 1 o'clock is when the advisory should be lifted. 33 on Valentine's Day, and then a gradual warm warm up again 65 degrees by Thursday. Overnight lows stay pretty cold, so anything that's untreated for Sunday and Monday could certainly refreeze, but it should not be widespread. It should be very patchy and isolated, but we mention it just so that you'll be careful. There's your latest update from First Alert Weather. I'm meteorologist Tim Williams. We will keep you posted here on CBS News Baltimore and WJZ.com. Have a great and safe weekend.